No. I want to show you guys something really quickly uh because I, I had a question kind of come up to me before in a coaching session and i wanted to kind of just relay it to you guys as well a lot of people ask me how do you not get faked in rocket league um so what i have found out the best way to not get faked is by challenging the ball yes but not only challenging the ball but also challenging the ball into the opponent's car will help you out tremendously with not getting faked and that's what I was going to show you right here. And I want to say he tried faking. But because I challenged it the way that I did, I was I did not get faked. Okay, so this is this is the perfect lineup for someone who's going to fake it. Because of the situation... What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, so this is the perfect example of this opportunity here. So as you can see, I got one person passing, uh, going mid. And then he's going a super wide turn to either pass it or fake the pass that pushed you he did fake it perfect he did fake it so that's awesome okay so this actually works out perfectly so what you want to do in this situation he has two options to not touch the ball or hit it to the left and that's what i'm seeing here from this play because you have one person looking for the pass and one person not what tries to happen a lot is a lot of people get faked here because they're trying to read and trying to see what's happening what you need to do is actually go challenge the ball on the outside of the ball and force the 50 into their car. That will prevent you from getting faked because you're going to be moving to the left side of the ball to begin with, right here, moving to the left. But then we're going to be forcing the ball into their car. And by doing that, that prevents it. So if they fake it, I'm 50 their car. If they actually go and pass it, I cut off that pass. So this is going to be the best way to prevent you from getting faked. And then another situation just happened here towards the end of the game where I did the same thing again. So another situation here. So he did go and fake it, but you see my routes for the ball. And instead of me trying to pick the ball clean or trying to read that he's going to be hitting it out, go to the right and I dodge left into his ball, pushing the ball back to his car. Because if I just tried to dodge right, trying to read that, oh, he's going to hit it to the right side of the, of the field, I'm going to get faked. Or if I try to just drive straight, I'm going to get faked. Go wide to the right and cut the ball back in towards their car. You're closing off any gaps and any possibility. Because he only has two options. And I think that's what happens. Like, you got to think. It's not like it's an actual player that has this ball possession. He can't, like, go left or go right. He only has two options. Going right or nowhere at all. Those are his only two options. So we're going to go ahead and cheat to the right. And we're going to cut back into the left. Let's go. Hello. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Zach Lard. I've been coaching on Rocket League for over five years now. I currently do coaching with all my subscribers on Twitch, whether it's through Amazon Prime, paid on your own, or gifted by a member of the community. And if you guys do want to come by and hang out with the rest of the community, we do go live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern. And you guys can be like the rest of the people down here. Also... If you guys want to book a session directly with Metify, you can do that through the links down in the description below. And uh, let's get a session in together. Oh, I also do give away free coaching sessions to random subscribers on YouTube as well. So if you guys want to subscribe and win a free coaching session like this person, you guys definitely should check it out. I do want to say thank you guys so much. It means so much. So tonight, we're just going to go over a few little tips on just talking about on how not to get fake. Now, this is not going to be foolproof, but it's helped me a lot. And if I can help you guys out at all, I'm hoping this is here. So thank you guys so much. And this is how to not get faked. Now we have some examples of us faking out the opponent. As you can see here, I leave the ball open to my right hand side. So that only means I have two options with the ball. I can either not touch it or hit it to the right hand side. So what happens? So we just talked about earlier in this video that you want to challenge that ball. You want to challenge that ball into your opponent's car. So we're actually going to go switch to their POV here. And as you can see, when they're looking at this ball, they are looking dead at the ball. But what do they do? They actually dodge away from the ball to where it could possibly be. So instead of being on the outside of the ball, then challenging it into my car, they go at the ball and they dodge away. That's super unfortunate. And that's going to cause you to get fake constantly. So now we're going to go back to my POV again. So now learning and watching your teammate and seeing exactly what they do, what should you be doing now? not dodging away from the ball a same thing happened to and he literally just watched his teammate do the same thing teammate was going at the ball 
tried to predict where I was going. So dodges away from the ball. Now all of a sudden we see player number two doing the same thing, challenging the ball. And which way do they dodge? Away from the ball. Do not do that. I'm serious. If you guys just take that ball and you challenge it into my car, either of them could have done that. Either of these players could have challenged the ball. See that I have the open ball here and challenge it into my car. I only have two options. I can only leave the ball there or kick it to the left. That is why you want to go ahead and challenge on the outside of the ball and 50 it back into my car because that's going to cause for, honestly, this 50 could have went right back into my net if he challenged it into my car. So do what I did earlier in this video. Don't do what these guys do and show up on someone else's uh, TikTok, Instagram reel, highlight reel, wherever it might get posted. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for that. Hopefully this helps you. I'm not saying this is going to prevent you from getting faked all the time, but I feel like I don't get faked that often because I always force the 50s into their car. So I'm hoping that you guys start doing the same. And let me know down below in the comments on what your guys' thoughts are. Are you guys' 50s turning out better? Are you, are you guys are not getting faked anymore? Or are we just on everyone's highlight reels? Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And until next time.